Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a SketchUp model of a window. First step is to open up Google SketchUp 8. Once the menu pops up, you need to choose a template. I like to use the architectural design in feet and inches. And start using SketchUp. And once it is open, uh, the figure that's here in the middle I like to get rid of her, so just click on her and you can type delete on your keyboard and she will be disappear. Now in order to start the window, you need to have something put the, be able to put the window on something. So we're going to start off with a basic shape. Uh, we'll click on the rectangle shape here first. And you'll notice that when the pencil goes over our point of origin here, uh, blue, green, and red lines where they all meet, um, it turns yellow. So that's where I'm going to start my box, stretch it out, and I'm going to make my box uh, 15 by 15. You'll notice that here down in the corner where it says dimensions, it's 13 feet, 3 inches, 3 and 9 16 inches by 12 feet, and 1 and 7 16 inches. Um, before I touch anything else, I'm going to type in 15 feet, comma, 15 feet and then my box automatically adjusts to the size that I wanted it. Okay, from here I'm going to pull up my box, uh, my square actually right now, it's going to be a box, and click on the push-pull tool, and I'll pull this up to a distance of 10 feet. Okay, so here's my basic box. I have a square box that is 10 feet or 15 feet by 15 feet and 10 feet high. Uh, this is where I'm going to make my window. I want my window to be three feet from the ground, so I'm going to use my the ruler tool. Go to the bottom edge of my box, measure up, and I want it to be three feet from the ground. So we're going to type in three feet again and it automatically adjusts that line to that level. Okay, from here, I'm going to draw another box. It's going to be somewhere on this line. I don't really care how far away from the wall it is. Um, I'm just going to make a box, say right there. And I want my window to be four feet high by three feet wide. And you'll notice that, again, my dimensions are not exact, so I'm going to change that to four feet by three feet and it automatically adjusts to that size that I want. So now I can zoom in here and it's ba basically just a simple box. So I'm going to start off my window by putting first a frame around it. Okay, we're going to now take this box and we're going to offset it so that we can have a frame around it. I want to make a four inch frame around it so you see that it, when I take the cursor over top with the offset tool it changes uh, and highlights that area. I'm going to go to that box and we're going to take that edge and we're going to stretch it out beyond the original box and I scan I want to make it four inches so before I do anything else I want to switch that to four inches. Inches is done with the quotation marks. We hit enter and it will adjust to that size. Okay. Now we're going to pull out the frame, so using the push-pull tool again. Got my frame, use the push-pull tool, we're going to pull it out. I want to pull it out two inches, so again two, colon, and now we have a little bit of a frame that is going to be the start of my window. The next thing I want to do is my window itself on the inside part. I want to push this in a couple more inches. So we'll go in two more inches. So it's actually four inches now on the inside and two inches on the outside is what my frame is. Now again, I'm going to use my offset tool. And right now I'm going to do an inside frame on my window of two inches. 
And again, I'm going to use my push tool, push pull tool. And this part of the frame, and we're going to go out one inch. Now I'm going to create a window that has basically a simple plus frame, I guess you could call it, in the inside part of, it, of the window. So in order to do that, I'm going to first find my midpoints. To find the midpoints, if I take my drawing tool and drag it along the edge, you'll notice that the, the dots turn light colored blue. That tells me that that is on the midpoint. I'm going to draw this line. Move my orbit tool a little bit. And I want to go to the midpoint on the inside edge of this window. So both are on the inside edge. Okay, and the same thing we're going to do on this edge. I'm going to find that midpoint. There it is. Stretch it across. Find the midpoint on this edge. Okay, so now I have a basically a square frame, a uh, square plus sign there. Now to get the frame on the inside, what I'll do is I'm going to take my measuring tool, and I want to measure this. I want my frame, an inside frame, to be one inch wide. So I'm going to go up with my measuring tool here, 0.5 inches. We'll do the same thing down. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the bottom part. We'll go up down. 0.5 inches. Same thing on these edges going across this way. And also this way. Okay, so now then I can take my drawing tool and I will connect, draw on top of these dotted lines. I need to get to the point where it intersects. Then draw another line up to the top, and we'll come back down. Sometimes you got to zoom in to get to the point that you want. Then use the orbit tool. Orbit tool works with the wheel. If you press in on that wheel, you can orbit and spin your object around. Okay, so now I have my frame. That's a one inch frame in there. Um, but I have to get rid of these parts in the middle. So I'm gonna get rid of these lines in the middle. I'll click on that. And get rid of the guidelines as well. Okay, so now we're gonna take our push-pull tool again. I'm gonna pull this out one inch, because that's what this frame was, well, one inch. And also get rid of that uh, line here. Make this frame all part of one unit now. Okay, so now basically we have our window. From here we can start adding some color to it. So we go to our paint bucket, and in the paint bucket you can go with a translucent color, and we'll color the windows translucent. I'm going to color my frame. Let's go to colors. And then there's lots of different colors you can choose from. I think we're going to go with the brown. And if I zoom in here, close this box out, I can zoom in. And I can click on each part of the frame that I want, inside edges as well. Okay, so now we need to also do the outside frame, just like a tannish color. So I'll pick this one here, so it kind of stands out. Click on each edge.
basic window shape. Another thing, and now another thing we can do with this window is we can actually add shutters to make it even dress it up a little bit more. Okay, to do a shutter, we're going to start with the drawing tool. And we'll start down here in the bottom, where, uh, bottom corner. We're going to go out one foot. And then we will draw this up. And remember, this our window was our frame frame was uh, four inches on each side, so we're going to have to go four feet eight inches, four feet eight inches up, and then draw that over and connect it to the other edge of the window frame. And we're going to pull this out with our push pull tool. We're going to go out one inch, 1.5 inches. So a little bit behind, beyond, uh, below, below the window itself. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to start at the top on this side. We'll go one foot. And down. Four feet, eight inches. And back over our edge point. Okay, and then again we'll pull this out 1.5 inches. Okay, I'll set this shutter 1.5 inches from the edge and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So 1.5 inches. Also want to put a frame on the middle of it, so find our midpoint again. Draw a line going across. But we're gonna hit. Okay, so yeah, now that we draw, found our midpoints, we're gonna go up. Make sure we're on the blue axis, three quarters of an inch. Do the same thing on the bottom, and then we can take our drawing tool, connect these lines. Rid of the midline. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. And again, get rid of these midlines. Now, what we can do here is we can drop this shutter down half an inch. And the same thing on the bottom. Same thing on this side. And then we can do some more painting. We're going to make our shutters black. We'll do a little bit grayish black. And we have to make sure we get the edges. Okay, I believe that's all of them. Oop, one more. Okay, so now, then one other tool that they are, one other thing they have here, if you want to go and put in a more of a design, if we go to lines, you can use this black one here and kind of makes it look more like a shutter. And there you go. There's your window. Very nice decorative window.